Well, imagine being married without your consent to a complete stranger and only to find out a few years later that your son's birth certificate reflects that stranger's surname. This is the very real story of a Rega Park resident, Elise O'Brien. Let's take a look. During the night, I'm awake. Elise O'Brien's childhood dream of a white wedding Being a married woman. with all the frills so now abruptly is... shattered. This is my marriage certificate. This is only a copy. This man is here as well. O'Brien was married to a complete stranger in 2006. O'Brien, which is me, is here. And this is my 1978, which is me. Yeah, he's 1975, which is him. From his, there's no ID number, nothing. She found out she had been fraudulently married when she went to collect her child's birth certificate at Boxback Home Affairs. I do want to divorce. I want to annulment. I want this guy to be out of my life. I want my name clean. I want this. Does I don't want it from the system. It must be finished, even from my son's birth certificate. I want it off. And the waiting is also taking its toll on her partner of 10 years. She's stressed out, I'm stressed out. I want to get married to her because we are, we've, we've been a lo together a long time now. Her four children are also affected. I can't concentrate at school, just thinking what's gonna happen to my mother. If something happens, what we gonna do? What if she passes on or because we don't know this guy. We don't know who he is. We have no clue. I don't even know what his, his name is. And O'Brien is among the victims endless least familiar to law expert Philippa Kruger. It's a fraudulent transaction. I'm not going to call it a marriage because it is not a marriage. In order to be married, you have to consent to be married. You have to go through a ceremony of some description and certain words need to be exchanged and vows need to be exchanged between two parties. But perhaps there's no need to panic for O'Brien. He's of course entitled to 50% of her estate because they married in community of property. But in practical terms he doesn't want to show his face because he knows he's committed a fraud. In the records of about 56 million people uh, that we, we keep, you do uh, have a situation where there, there's bound to be errors, there's bound to be fraudulent transactions. An employee who allegedly authorized the transaction is believed to have resigned years ago. If they have left the employee of the department, obviously we will be able to take action against that particular individual because I think these are the things that brings, uh, you know, the name of the department in disrepute. So we are, we are keeping all those elements. That is why we introduced the PICAM system, which is uh, enable us to be able to prevent that fraud moving forward. Investigations are underway. If it is proven that she's not involved, we will then dissolve that particular marriage with immediate effect uh, so that we can then restore her status as an unmarried person. Until the department concludes the probe before next Friday, the family's long overdue wedding remains on hold. Margaret Amatabe, SABC News, Johannesburg.